type of preseason that he's had. He's been really solid. Lots in the throw. That is complete. Donovan Peoples-Jones with the catch, and the Browns want to move quickly. Oh, ball's on the ground. It's loose, recovered by the Chiefs. Leo Chanel, I believe, got it. Michel, they set up the screen, and it's well set up. It's McKinnon, and Jet takes off. And he is brought down at the 22-yard line. Great play call on third and long. Tommy Townsend is the holder. Kick is on the way, and it is good. Michel wants to throw on third and short. And that is picked off. Juan Thornhill, the former Chief, takes it for six. Touchdown, Browns. Tries getting after the play fake and rolling out. Tries getting to the backside receiver. And as you mentioned, Thornhill knows that. He knows where those guys are coming from. He, he's been around this program. And as soon as Bouchelle's eyes look as he turns back to the middle of the field, Thornhill jumps all over it. Give is to Wilkins, and they push the pile, and he's in. Two-point conversion is good for the Browns, so the Browns get the pick six. They tack on two with the two-point conversion and lead 8-3. Good pocket this time. Bouchelle delivers on time, and the ball comes out, and it's picked off. Browns with the football. I think that's going to be an incomplete pass. I don't think he finished the catch. Rodney McLeod with the interception for the moment. Watson, the throw to the end zone. That's caught. Najoko with the touchdown for the Browns. Ten-yard scoring play. Watson, Njoku. Weren't there. Watson in some trouble, moves to his left. Gonna throw down, Billy's got an open receiver, Amari Cooper, and Cooper off to the races. And he's out of bounds at the 24 yard line. They'll try to run for it. Kelly trying to push the pile, then falls forward, and he's in. Touchdown, Browns. John Kelly Jr. gets the touchdown. Good extra effort. It's the second effort that got him into the end zone. On the ground for Michael P. Ryan. P. Ryan gets to the outside. Across the 40. Big time run there, LaMichael P. Ryan. Um, our coaching staff does a tremendous job they do and just keep working on getting these guys better and better. Michelle in some trouble and he'll go down back at the 48-yard line. There is a flag in the secondary. Yeah, there is a flag at the 26-yard line. is always one thing, but I think we really are just trying to commit it to, to keeping the best players and, and letting it all play out. P. Ryan goes over the defenders, setting up first and goal for the Chiefs. You know, we're recording a list of, of bubble players and, and you know, keep a, a detailed log of names. And, you know, if we can get... Justin Ross stares it for the touchdown. In the red zone, especially... But to see him, what he's been able to overcome, and a two shell with two safeties deep, about 15 yards off the line. Gabbert, good pocket. Going to step up and throw on target. It's complete. Amir Smith Marset brought down at the 43 yard line. Big third down pickup. You're one of 11 guys out there, and you're trying to get everybody on the same page, and ultimately you're just trying to get in the end zone. Gabbert, open receiver, Smith Marset. Another big play, and Smith Barset last week had a huge game. Gabbert, moving around, he'll go down. Browns will get credit for the sack. Gabbert, gonna check it down. P. Ryan makes the catch, makes two guys miss. P. Ryan still on his feet, he'll take it for six. Touchdown, Chiefs! Walking, he's like, I'm about to surprise everybody in here with this call. P. Ryan, great job. Three broken tackles, gets it into the end zone. 
BTR goes down. Sack for the Chiefs. BTR looking down the field, and that is caught. More than enough for a first down. Cedric Tillman, the catch brought down at the 45-yard line. Browns will only rush three. Gabbert will throw, and that is picked off. And the Browns will take it for the touchdown. Cameron Mitchell. Caleb Biggers was there for the interception and the touchdown. As you said, only rushing three, throwing it out to the flat. A little bit behind Bushman as it hits him on the back hip. Play action, Gabbert, and he gets it off to Rice. Breaks a couple tackles, a stiff arm, and he's across the 35-yard line. But when that inside, when that backer responded to it, he decided to go to Smith-Marset to the outside and, and got the, the DPI. Gabbert down the field, Smith-Marset's got it! He'll take it for six. Touchdown, Chiefs. Well, you have three verticals to that side. It's been awesome. Um, we, we've had a great quarterback play the entire uh, OTA training camp preseason. Um, and obviously today we've had a couple of mishaps here and there, but I've loved how the guys bounce back. Oh, doggone, there's an interception. <laughs> Hold up, I'm about to get ran over. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm, I saw Big 74 running at me. Out of, you out of the way. <laughs> we want you to run out of the way. Exactly. Chance out for the Chiefs. They can get a touchdown on the extra point. Be their first lead of the day, and it's Daenerys Prince. And Prince is brought down at the 11 yard line. Oladokin moving to his left. He's going to throw. The Bushman, he holds on, touchdown Chiefs. Earlier in the game, as you see Oladokun go sliding in there, he talked to us about how he loves just drawing up plays. Oh, the blitz comes and they get home. That's a great job there, Joshua Kando, 59. Five straight AFC Championship games at home has never been done before, and so they just want to continue to build on that and grow from that. I feel like that's just been so helpful coming into the second year. Is I don't know, like all I know is winning the Super Bowl, so it's like, what's year two? And man, the guys have been great at just walking me through it and stuff. And... Well, the Dokin, ah! and that is caught. <laughs> what a play. Oh, yeah, Duncan. but no, it's been great. It's been great. Blitz is coming. Oladokin, and he goes down. He had no chance on that play. Oh, no. Clyde might have that one. <laughs> Clyde might take the kick on that one. Um, we got Daenerys Prince. He's a rookie. He don't really say much. Oladokin. Throws it up, back shoulder throw, and it's incomplete, but a flag comes in. Oladokun pressures come and gets rid of it, and that's caught. Fry Fogel makes the guy miss, and he's out of bounds. The kick is on the way, and it is good. Harrison Butker delivers to put the Chiefs in front by one. Bringing pressure, Mon running for his life. And that's incomplete. Looking for Austin Watkins. And Deion Bush was bringing the pressure. There is a flag on the far side of the field at the 44-yard line. Mon's going to step up, deliver, and that is caught at the 46-yard line. Kick is on the way, and he misses it. And that should do it for the 2023 preseason. The Chiefs will finish 2-1 in the preseason. And end the preseason with a one-point win here at home, 33-32 over the Cleveland Browns.